Hey, what's up, good people? Thank you for running with the PC Tribe today. My name is Derek, and this is another edition of The Blind Preacher Plays, the series where I, a legally blind preacher, tries to conquer games while glorifying God's name. Yes, today, just in time for the Masters, we're going to go to the East Lake Course. It's the closest we got on Rory McIlroy PGA Tour. And I thought fitting to go along with that, since we're going to be trying to become the master of this course today, how fitting is it that we talk about the master of our life? Yes, we're told by Paul in Ephesians, the fourth chapter, verse six, that there is one God and Father of all, who's above all, through all, and in you all. Simply put, God should be the most important thing in our Christian life. He should be above all, through all all things that we go through in this life and in every single one of our hearts. The question is, is he? Is God the master of your life, the master of your faith, the master of all you do and hope to be? Because if he is, and we lead a godly life where he is the master, in the end, we will have that ultimate goal of getting to a heavenly home. We will be the master of an eternal life. With that being said, guys, here we go. This is the closest we can get on Rory McIlroy PGA Tour. The master's course is not on here, but it is in Augusta, Georgia. And so we have the East Lake course here, which is in Atlanta, Georgia. So same state, not too far down the road. So... This is as close as we can get to the Masters course on Rory McIlroy game. I thank you for being a part of the safe zone for God's own. Once again, guys, I appreciate every time you join me. We're going to be taking on this course. We're going to be playing as Brent Snedeker today instead of Rory. This is EA Sports coverage nice, something of the different. PGA Tour. How are we going to do it, guys? How are we going to do it? As I always say, let's do this. Let's do this. <laughs> This Hello, is a everybody. rough I'm course. Rich Lerner, and beside me is my friend and colleague Frank Nabolo. We're here in the state of Georgia getting ready to kick off the round here at East Lake Golf Club. It's been a permanent home to the Tour Championship since 2005. Golf course today set up as a par 70 for the professionals, usually a par 72 for the members. I'm excited to call all the action out on the course for you today. There he is, Brent Snedeker. This is a rough course, guys. We're now down to the par four first, right around four and a quarter yards to the green. Change my camera angle here. All right. He's loading up on him. Here we go, guys. Starting with a bang. <laughs> Can we become? The Masters champion here. Long and strike. That's how you do it. All right. Pretty good start to the round That's here. tasty looking right there, Frank. Just a perfect spot in the fairway. That is prime real estate. How do you get a line like that? Seriously, you could hit any club from there. <laughs> Four. I think this one looks like it might have a postage stamp on it. Airmail City. Yeah, lick it. Send it. So the second of the par four goes begging, and now I'll have to rely on the short game. Yeah, but a short game, as we all know, can uh, redeem a lot of mistakes. Let's see if he does it here. Oh. Pretty good shot right there. Settles in over the putt. Oh, God. Even uh. par early on. We start off with a par. Not bad. Not bad. What Already do you think? Up here at the second. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to be so the, the Masters champion today flag. or what? Uh, the front I don't know. flags are always difficult because chances are you're going to have a downhill putt. Um, when that flag's on the left side of the green, though, beware of that bunker. That's a, a devilish bunker shot coming downhill away from the flag. Whoop, this is taken off on a weird line. And it's going to be in the rough, it looks like. Oh, oh. that's off the beaten track. That's you've got five minutes to find it. Second shot <laughs> coming out of the rough here. It. <laughs> oh man. How good was that, Frank, from the rough? Oh, that's amazing. That's a monster. Oh, this is brutal. Game. This course Great. is rough. This par. 
Oh my goodness. A brutal course. Oh, I thought he had Oh, I missed it. Frank, you oh, hear it so no. often. This is a game of dealing with your miscues. That's the beauty of this game of golf. Uh, it giveth and it taketh away. Just uh, a shade over par. Plus one. Yeah, the Lord giveth and the Lord Out taketh the away. Par, third, That's a reference to the Bible right there, guys. center of the back. Did you hear that? Uh, not bad, guys. Not bad. Oh, that's it. New member oh, of the this course is, clock. like Good I said, right if you've ever played this game, you know East Lake is brutal. A little uphill to this green, Frank. Yeah, it is. Seems to like it. Looks like it's headed for the green. That was a solid strike and a good result. Not a gimme. But well within his range. Uh, all right. We got an angler here. Quite an angle. Ah, oh, man. I just pushed it. Boy, that hurts. So a tester from four feet. Oh, I missed oh, that little just shaves the edge. Oh, my goodness. Slipping just a bit, another bogey, and now two over par. Oh, I'm two over, guys. We're going to be lucky to shoot even par in this thing. Fourth hole now, 440 yards. Oh, we're not looking much like a Masters champion right now. Although Brent Snedeker's got it within him to be great. He can be great. Just oh, that's cool. What they're able to do that's that cool, guys. Hit it so far. At that size, not overly big, but man can really move it a long ways. That's not a bad Nicely shot. played shot, about 310 yards down the fairway. Second shot now on the way for Brant Snedeker. Yeah. Cody try up next. He took a decent bounce. <laughs> I was a little worried about that one. This one just requires a little bit of focus. All right, here, guys. Wow, that is quite a put. Very well done. Almost made it. Yeah, yeah I was nice just trying to lag it one. up there. In for par. All right, we'll take a par. This is brutal. <laughs> Now the fifth hole in a challenging par four here. It is 520 yards long, and Frank wow, 520 off some the tee. yards on a par four. This is one of the narrowest four, fairways guys. on the golf course, Rich. Not only that, your tee shot's blind, so you're not going to know where that ball finishes up. Fairway also tilts right to left, so you're going to have to hit that tee shot down the right oh, side. Oh no! Uh, errant tee shot here, Rich, but going to have to muscle this one out of the rough. You'll oh, need to be strong man. with this. There's a bunker over there. I think he's headed for it. Oh, Just into the beach. And into oh, the man. <laughs> you in the greenside bunker here, Frank. Nice to go to the beach, but not too often, we hope. Well, oh, like my that? goodness, guys. Just a phenomenal play right there. Did you there. see that? We all Watch recognize this, again. this hole, the sixth. Oh, I, can, I thought I was going to hit the replay. Oh. Nine yards. That was crazy. What a shot. Really an intimidator, especially with a prevailing wind pushing the ball toward the water right of the green. The only bailout is a bunker on the left, which provides another terrifying shot. Let's face it. The most challenging hole location is front right, but back left behind that bunker also very tough. Well, that oh, was man. almost like that's what he wanted to do, but why would you want it to run over the back? Just hey, it was better than going in the water, water though, guys. Bad lie. The only issue is... He might get a jumper here. Oh. Frank, it's not about getting the ball close to the hole from that spot. Well, he had no chance to get it close. Uh, I thought he had very, very, very little chance of getting it on the green. So given that, that was a very good shot. So frustrating sometimes on the greens, isn't it? Drop shot here at the sixth. 
Just a couple of feet. In for oh, bogey. God. Sitting at two over for the round. Oh, this is brutal. <laughs> All right, Frank, we've made it through the sixth unscathed. Here we are at the seventh hole, East Lake Golf Club in Atlanta for the Tour Championship. And it's a slight dog leg left, 434 yards. It's the first hole that actually bends to the left, so you would think it would suit a draw. But uh, those three bunkers down the left side almost prevent that. Oh, really it's not bad. Not bad, guys. I don't right know if we're going to be much of a match. Yes, <laughs> <given laughs> this one or not. Oh, uh, but that's ball. what we're going for. He is on the fairway. We come back. Over 300 yards. And we come back from this. Playing this par four, still not on the green after that second shot. That's still not done. Um, a good third shot. Maybe get away here with par. Oh, again, guys! What a shot! Again! That Frank, was back -back, crazy. Dog legs to the left as oh. we on the tee here at the eighth. This one a little different. <laughs> he shoots the these guys. This one's flat. Stevens on go. So that fairway runs oh, out on the right man. side. Um, you can try and flash it across all the bunkers. There's no real advantage. You have to respect those bunkers. Oh um, no! Should just leave you a, a sand iron, a wedge maximum in here. This is a good scoring opportunity, providing you hit the fairway. The second shot now to the par four. <sighs> I hit the tree. This hit, wrong club. What happened there, Frank? Oh, just lucky to get it out of there. It's a little bit of a head scratcher. It wasn't that hard a shot. Oh. Not too unhappy with that, Frank, at 17 feet. I over from that it. distance. It's uh, more than good. Brand Snedeker needs this for a par. Oh, man. Well, Frank, it's our job uh. to get excited. You can't. You can't when you leave it short, though. I'm sad. He's making my job hard. Really not much to this. The only issue would be a oh, lack of my goodness, guys. more focus. Uh. So, two over par for the round. We saved par. I, no, we bogeyed now. again. I'm sorry. The first of two <laughs> on the course, this measuring is brutal. Exactly 600 yards. A true challenge in every sense of the word to be Masters champion today, guys. Wow, a Titanic flash. <laughs> it's like a bomb went off. Wow, what a hit. Frank, that one is long, and it is straight. Well, in baseball, that's a home run. In golf, that is a huge advantage over everybody else that plays the game. You imagine just teeing up on every hole knowing that you've got 20 or plus yards over your fellow competitors. Uh. Now the third shot for Snedeker. Wow, this is crazy. Didn't check, Frank. Yeah, just not enough spin on that. Um, really, I mean, that almost like took that first bounce and just ricocheted forward. Now on the green, has about 10 feet left there to save par. Shouldn't uh, be a problem here. That is brutal. Oh, no. You can see the golfer is just boiling right now after that miss and a drop shot here at the ninth. Not oh. his best effort right there. That's a bogey, and now three over. Oh my goodness, guys, this is brutal. This is the second par five to have been shortened to play as a par four, and this hole requires that the tee shot be long and to the left side of the fairway. That allows players to see the putting surface. The second shot will likely be a is, uh, iron into a. This is going to be a green. true challenge. And that green slopes severely from <laughs> back right to front left. Making lag oh, not a bad shot. Back. Not a bad. Not a real bad. challenge. Brand Snedeker ready for the approach. Okay. Uh, this looks like it's going to find the target. Safely aboard. Okay. Pretty chance here. Very long putt, though. Got to be a little careful if it gets away on him. Oh, 
Did a nice job with that putt. Good read, good speed. Brand Snedeker, <sighs> poor par. Frank, oh. amazing how this hole has gotten away. Yeah, he's not Robinson Crusoe. Happened to everybody that's played this game. So they'll tap in. Oh but my goodness. Loses a shot here with that bogey. This is crazy. Now at the only hole on the course that starts with a one at the beginning of the yardage, this par three 11th, just under 200 yards, right around 197. Slight miss, and they'll have to deal with some of the heavy grass. Oh, Frank, man. just into that first cut. Yeah, it's sitting up. Um, really, th this isn't this isn't too bad a situation. It's oh, again, hole. guys! A sensational shot right there. <laughs> Frank, one thing I really oh, like about Oh my goodness! What is that? Like three times? That's crazy. Good par threes, we've seen that. Just a couple of par fives, but then you have this collection of really fascinating short par fours, including here at the 391 yard 12. It just goes uh. to show in today's game, you don't always have to reach for a 500 yard par four. The 12th, even though it's under 400 yards, is, uh, is quite deceiving. There's a, a lone fairway bunker on the right that has to be avoided. And then judging the lie, if you're on a downhill oh. line, pitching into a green that's also Wouldn't that be below, great if you can hit on the green um, in one shot? That bunker might look a long way short of the green, but uh, it's caught a few errant second shots. Terrific golf shot. And now that for an easy birdie. All right, let's see if he can make back-to-back -back birdies and really start to ah. pick up some momentum after a, a struggle at the start of the day. Yeah, his body language is starting to change, so good chance here. And you never know, maybe get on a run, or this could be the start of a run. Yeah! So with that, we're trying to fight back. Oh, uh, we're up. fighting back. Rising up, back on the street. <laughs> now at the par four, 13. This uh. is a good one. Strong challenge here at Eastlake. Ah, oh, this is brutal, guys. This is brutal. This course is a true challenge. It's like the real Masters tournament. Which that is annihilation of a golf ball. Absolutely love it. I mean, he just just tore that thing to pieces. Oh, Not that's bad. a new member of the 300 yard club. Good poke right there. Second shot now on the way for Brant Snedeker. Oh my goodness, what a crazy looking shot. Headed for the bunker, I think. Oh. Uh, so the uh, second of the par four goes begging, and now I'll have to rely on the short game. Yeah. Oh, God. The short game, as we all know, can uh, redeem a lot of mistakes. Let's see if he does it here. Wow. Yes, again! Oh, again, guys! Oh, my goodness! Backing up that long 13th <laughs> hole, we now arrive at the I think 14th, that's and four this too a, is four, a challenging maybe three par or four. four. Tough fairway to hit I've lost because the pitch from left from the left side of the fairway to the right side of the fairway. No this fairway bunkers crazy, to worry guys. about. But uh, if, if you watch the Tour Championship over the years, you'll find what the majority of the field live in that right rough. It's the most uh, difficult part of playing I'm, this downhill path. I'm a Getting master of the short game here, of the chipping what game. Does the player need to be careful this is of crazy. Well, if this only is my... we'll see exactly how good they are. Because, <laughs> if only you know, my putting exactly was as good as my slide, chipping, I'd be doing all right. It's sort of doable if you know what you're doing. <sighs> that just came out blazing. As soon as it hit the green, it was never going to stop. Uh, Rich, you know, after you've already made one mistake in the rough, there's a chance he's going to make another. Just trying to get it back out into the fairway and not make a big number. I mean, this skill and that, that was sublime. Just good hands coming out of the rough, able to manage the distance, and now in great position. Oh. He made that. That's costly right there. Oh, man. Painful. So just a formality here. Well, it was bound to come to an end at <laughs> some point. Drops just one shot after that terrific stretch of birdies. Oh, there are three that was awful, guys. Right it looked like I had that. that. Forced players to hit a fade 
to get to the best position in the fairway. With a good drive, players can definitely reach this short par five in two. A well-bunkered green poses problems if missed long or short. One of the easiest holes at oh, East Lake, no. a par here, will drop a shot to the field. Second shot coming out of the rough here. So miss the fairway, and now he's back where he needs to be. Yeah, minimize the problems. Setting up for an approach shot here. Frank, the beauty of the game, the changing conditions. You've played it all over the world, and you don't play yeah. it inside a dome, do you? Yeah, anybody can play on a fine still day, but what separates the uh, good from the great is actually days like today. That's when that little extra uh, attention to detail the better strike, the better swing, is certainly going to pay dividends. Well, uh. we'll never know if that had gone in, because it never made it. You don't want to let this one get away. This is about concentration and focus at this point. Oh! Tough break. Oh, my goodness. Sitting right now at two over par for the round. So, with that... Three over par now for the round. <laughs> oh, all that hard work going down the drain. Frank, this is really a picturesque hole. As you look out, you can see the Atlanta skyline, and you can also see, with just a few holes to play, maybe a $10 million pot of gold. If you can't smell the finish from here, then uh, you never will. And you're right. You know you've got water coming up after this hole. Uh, good tee shot here. Um, if you want to challenge those bunkers, so be it. Um, if you can somehow thread it just right of that, then you'll have a chance at the second shot that also is going to play downhill. Good thing he stayed in the first cut because just a couple of feet over, that rough is really deep. Here's to be what they call a commercial play. Very solid. Frank, not close, but from that line, not bad. Oh, that's excellent. Seriously, given the conditions, Rich. Grant Snedeker for birdie. Oh, guys. This is brutal. Oh, oh man. You can't miss him from that distance. So oh close. my goodness! Frank, you hear it so often. This is a game of dealing with your miscues. That's the beauty of this game of golf. Uh, it giveth oh, and man. it taketh away. That's a bogey. Oh, that's awful, guys. Frank, the par four 17th at 450. I'll be happy to get out of here if really I'm under a five over. Tour. By virtue of that great up and down by Bill Haas, when the uh, level of the lake had been reduced just to the level where you can actually play that uh, vital third shot. The hole is a slight dog leg left, par four, um, fairly flat. Those three bunkers down the right are absolutely perfect if you're gonna just bail out to the right. You'll certainly learn how to play fairway bunker shots. If you can find the fairway, this green raise slightly and you'll see that gaping front bunker that protects the front. Get down, lay down. Just averted danger right there. So close. Why does he have all the luck? Shouldn't be a problem here, but not a formality either. Yeah. That's a step in the right direction. Makes the putt and makes the move to three over. Ah. Uh. Onto the finishing hole here at East Lake Golf Club. Not many courses end with a par three. It's always a fun finishing hole. Oh, guys. Well, Frank, which way is this heading? Well, judging by his uh, body English, looks like it's heading a little right. There is a bit of green out there, though. Great way to finish off the final approach shot with a birdie opportunity. Been pretty good all day from this distance, just trying to take care of business. Oh. I don't know, guys. Ah. 
it looks pretty pretty interesting ah. missed on that one Frank yeah not a problem and it's a long way to the hole from here never easy Frank that's what you want to do good lag putt yeah they can't all go in this for what would be a disappointing bogey for Brant. Oh, I had know. enough oomph on that. Yes, yeah, so oh, the my wishy goodness. washy stroke. Final tally on this day, <laughs> a round of 75. Oh, that's terrible, guys. Well, Frank, uh, as we put a wrap on the day, it was plain to see he just. Well, I finished have five over. Stuff, my goal is to try to finish at least tomorrow. under yeah, five over. <laughs> by the best well, yeah, we did golf. do too not, bad, I, I guess. This fair, is a uh, horrible assessment. course. Oh, oh man. The is, but we'll see down the line exactly whether he uh, learns from this or this becomes a habit. Uh, well, it'll be a next time for us as well, partner. For Frank Navalo, I'm Rich Lerner saying so long for now. Yes, thank you guys. Oh man, this was a rough course. We didn't quite shoot under par today, but you know what? That's all right. It's just a game. We had some fun today. If you enjoy this Christian channel and you enjoy what this blind preacher is trying to do, remember to hit the subscribe button. We got a analytics on our channel that most of you that are watching are not subscribed. Remember to hit that button if you enjoy the channel. It's free. If you hit the notification as well, you'll be aware the next time we make a video and you won't miss anything that we do here. And if you're watching us on Twitch, remember to hit the follow and you'll be able to follow me when I'm live. I thank you so much for being with me. Remember what we talked about today. Yes, in this game, we tried to be the master of this course, just as many men will line up and try to be the master's champion. But what we're worried about, guys, and what matters most to us is whether God is the master of our life. Is he our God, our Father, who's above all, through all, and in us all? Is he the one that matters most? Because if he is, guys, we will have a heavenly home. We will be the master of our faith and the master of an eternal life. Thank you for being with me, guys. Have fun. I hope you enjoyed this. And until the next one, blessed wishes.